Hey guys! I am back from holiday. I am back in Read Kids Lit mode. Children's Literature Month is back on course. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five most read children's classics. So the books I'm going to be talking about today, I'm sure some of you could guess all five without even thinking about it. These are books that are not new to my channel in the slightest. These are children's classics that I've been reading long before booktube was a thing, long before I was making videos. These are five children's classics that have stuck with me since I was much younger. These are books that meant a lot to me then, that still mean a lot to me now, that have grown with me, ones that are just part of me. Now, I read a lot as a child. I definitely read some of these when I was quite young, but there are plenty of books that I read when I was younger that meant a lot to me then, but didn't follow me through to my adult life. They meant something then. All they would be able to mean to me now is nostalgia. These are different. These books are ones I can either enjoy as much now or even more. Let's start with the one that all of you know I'm going to be mentioning, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This book will forever be part of me. I love this book. It is definitely an older children's book, but it was definitely marketed as a children's book when it was originally published. This is possibly my most read book of all time. I'm not sure, but it's very possible. Little Women tells the story of the March sisters, and every time I read it, I gain something new from it. Every time I read it, my perspective has changed. As I get older and I have more life experiences, my feelings on different aspects of this book changes, but I never stop loving it. Next up is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. This I have no idea when I first read. I grew up reading this. I grew up watching adaptations of this. It wasn't until maybe my early 20s that I could fully appreciate it. Um, that's not to say that I didn't love it as a child, because I did, but there's something about this um, that when you reach that stage where you can put it all into context, where the social and historical elements of this sort of slide into focus and it just becomes something more. I love this book. It is nonsensical and wonderful and beautiful. And if you've only ever seen adaptations of this and not actually read the text, I highly recommend picking it up. Next, we have Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. And I think I read this for the first time in about year four. I think we read it aloud in class and it broke my heart. I grew up watching the, I want to say 70s uh, animated adaptation, which is amazing and I love by the way. There is just something wonderful about this book in its simplicity. It is just charming and lovely and while I would consider this the book most suited to young children out of all the ones I'm talking about, no matter my age, no matter how I change, there is something about this book that I love. Next up we have Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne. Obviously I've talked about this a lot recently. This book just reached its 90th birthday and I did quite a few videos about it. I love the character of Pooh Bear. He is one of my all-time favorites. I grew up reading and loving these books. They are such a nostalgic comfort for me. I love these stories. They are beautiful. I love the Disney adaptations. I just love everything to do with Pooh Bear. But since I have talked about them so much recently, I won't harp on about it, but definitely one of my most read children's classics for sure. And lastly, we have Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. I think I was in my early to mid teens the first time I read this and I fell in love. I grew up watching the Disney film, which I still adore. I really do love it. But if you have seen that but have not read the books, I would definitely check out the books, especially just the first one, but all of them are fantastic. Very, very different story. Very, very different Mary to the films. The books, to me, are maybe even more magical than the films are, which is saying something. These are rooted in reality but take you to some place entirely other. I really enjoy these. I really enjoy P.L. Travers' writing. I love the concepts in these books. I've talked about it before, but it's been a long time. My favorite chapter in this book is John and Barbara's story. In the books, there are actually four children under Mary's charge, Jane and Michael, like in the movie, and then 
infant twins, John and Barbara. And the chapter dealing with John and Barbara is completely wonderful. It deals with this concept of very small children being able to understand a lot more about the world than we would assume, having their own language, being able to talk to animals and things around them, and then reaching this age where they become more of a blank slate again and have to learn and grow and become what we think of as a person. It's completely magical, it's completely whimsical. I really love Mary Poppins and it's one that I highly recommend checking out if you haven't. So that's it guys, those are my five most read children's classics, ones that I grew up with but ones that I love so much now. Definitely let me know which children's classics you have read most in your life, whether they are the same or different to my list, I would love to hear. Thank you all for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you soon.